Good evening, my Trues Clues aficionados. I hope you all are doing well out there tonight. I hope you're taking each care of yourself out there. Got a lot going on as far as heat in a lot of states. Keeping yourself hydrated, taking care of yourself. If you're seeing something, saying something, watching out for each other as human beings. So tonight, I just wanted to give you a brief update on the Gilgo serial killer case. And I wanted to discuss the topic of the family. What happens to a family when you're a serial killer and all of a sudden you get busted for all the multiple victims you've been putting out there into the universe and to the world? Well, on the victim's part, they're dead. On the serial killer's part, they're caught. On the victim family they're betrayed one of the forms of betrayal and highest forms of betrayal a person can probably experience i would think so the name of rex Uerman will now go down in infamy and disturbingly enough his family will have to deal with the repercussions of his actions and his notoriety as well he has always been known in the neighborhood for being an excellent and a good family man. As a matter of fact, he took care of his son, very good, who had disabilities. They had a very special relationship. The neighborhood friends used to call him Peter Griffith after that show Family Man because they thought that name fit him perfectly in the role that he played in his family. Little did they know that this man um non-human being had an alternate life that was very dark very evil and now the family must live through his repercussions rex's wife and children being the ones who have to live through his repercussions he is currently being held right now on the suspicion of um, murdering three women and a possible fourth, they moved in to arrest him because they were sure he had another victim at hand very quickly. So once they took him away, as it is normal to do, they then want to follow up on a search warrant and check all the places that they think he'd been to connect him to the missing victims with more evidence to get him put away forever. So they descended on the small family house that's about seven miles, I believe, from Gilgo Beach, where Rex lived with his family and adult children and the, the one disabled child that's in there, too. So um, now that he has been taken away, the charges have been levied. The truth has come to the front, supposedly, because he hasn't been convicted yet. So... They go in, they descend on the house, and of course, looking for evidence, I guess they just trashed that whole fucking house. It looks like a damn episode of Hoarders in there. Now, I don't look like what it looked like before. It could look like the same thing for all I know, but the wife is pretty upset over that, especially over the fact that um, they threw like family pictures on the floor. They also destroyed... Um, by throwing everything into a big pile. And then I guess they had cats. So they took the litter boxes and they threw everything on top of the trash out there as well. So that's pretty fucked up. I understand the police's logic and how they did it and why they did it. You know, they're just going through trying to collect evidence. But at the same time, these people were not the suspects. They were being victimized as well, and they were probably not being treated very nicely either throughout that whole thing. I'm not sure how you feel about that, but um, I think there's plenty of serial evidence, serial killer evidence out there to support the fact.
so of course asa has gone forward and has filed for a divorce um i'm not sure whether she's filing for a divorce because she thinks that the person that she's known and lived with so many years may be guilty of this crime or if she just can't stand what's going on as far as you know the pressure of being involved in this situation and trying to protect your kids i guess that'll come out with time it'll prove which side of the fence that comes out on i guess at this point it doesn't matter much so stay tuned for the next episode so we can find out what's going on um i know his attorney did come up and say that he is not guilty he has no fucking idea what's going on we don't know what's going on either. We'll see how things unfold with all this evidence, maybe, that they've collected. Talk to you on the next episode.